So, Luis, uh, fight number three in the second UFC stint. I mean, split results so far, but how do you feel about it? I mean, of course, you'd like to get the wins every time, but how do you just feel about getting back and, you know, being a consistent part of the roster again? Um, it's great, you know. UFC life, it's the best. Um, there's nothing else like it in our sport, you know. It's the pinnacle. It's what we all work for. Um, and I'm just happy to be back. Honestly, it was rough being outside the UFC. It's a lot of, a lot of doubts, a lot of... Um, a lot of questioning if it's worth it, you know. And um, but yeah, you know, I'm happy to be back, and you know, I'm excited to fight. I'm excited to put a sh put on a show on for Vancouver. Yeah. What, what do you feel just went wrong for you on the last one, and how did you ultimately build on whatever lessons you uh, learned in that um, fight? So like eight weeks out, the last one, I I popped my knee, mm -hmm. um, and so like I couldn't really like move on it. Couldn't really, like like it stiffened up that night. So I had to go to OC Fight Docs, and they took care of me. And they like massaged it, got it back down. I went to go see Heather at the the PI. She like looked at it and she said, "All right, I think you'll be okay." But you know, it's like you should get most of your movement back, but you're cutting it pretty close, you know. But I was like, "All right, fuck," you know. Um, I'm one of the guys that like will always try to fight if I can, you know. Mm -hmm. So I went out there. Um, ended up getting sick uh, like the week before the fight. I just couldn't catch a break on this camp, but like the week before the fight, I ended up getting the flu. I got influenza A from like that flu season and it had like a bunch of gastrointestinal symptoms. So I was throwing up, I couldn't really eat, um, like it was just a mess. And um, so like the UFC found out, they put me on antibiotics. Um, and then what, during the weight cut, like I thought I was fine. So I took the fight again. And then um, during the weight cut, I relapsed. I started having symptoms again. I started burping and I was like, feeling weird and stuff, but I thought it, I couldn't eat, I was nauseous, but I thought it was just the nerves. So I just tried to gut it out and then coming like, and then we were warming up in the back, I started throwing up and I was like, I still thought it was the nerves. I couldn't even drink water. Like I couldn't keep the water down during the warm ups and like, but the whole time I just, in my head it was nerves and I was telling myself, just don't be a bitch, just don't be a bitch, just don't be a bitch. And like, it just fucking didn't play out. Yeah, that's tough. So, I mean, the fact that you still go in there and, are, you know, compete regardless, is there something positive you can take away from that? You know, um, knowing that you battled through all that and you still were able to get in there? Whereas honestly, it's hard to find an upside in that getting finished that quickly. Like, mm -hmm. I kind of just got ran over. I was pretty upset about it. Like, but, you know, my coaches were like, Lewis, you know, you were really sick. You know, this was not ideal at all. But, you know, we know you needed the money, so we let you go out there and do it and stuff. At least you didn't get hurt and, you know, try to bounce back. Um, you know, so we took some time off, let my stomach really heal and stuff, and you know, just try to make the best best of the run. You know, um, get some weight on, and you know, try to try to get the next win. Yeah. So, how much more confidence does it give you just sitting here right now? I mean, I don't know what you're going through or anything. I'm sure you would tell me if it was something. No, but... I wouldn't tell you at all. I can tell you, <laughs> or no, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> but if you, I'm sure you are sitting here. You know, if you are feeling better, that brings you a different confidence than going into oh, the last fight, right? Yeah, definitely. You know, um, this camp went a lot better. You know, I worked super hard for this. We had like a lot of guys in camp. We had a lot of guys to work with. You know, um. I had Carla, Alex, Chito, everybody back at Team Oyamas, Fernando, Junior, Desmond, just everybody was like in camp like conveniently around this time. So we were just, you know, just grinding it out together and I feel great, you know. Yeah, and you get the offer to fight on this card, the matchup, I mean, do you, do you even care at this point where you're fighting, where it is? Is it just all the getting in there as much as you can? Um, honestly, yeah, like, I don't I don't care too much about it. Um, I know this was a matchup that my team wanted, so I kind of just trusted it, and, like, I just listened to my coaches and my team, um, Jason House and Col Coach Colin, they wanted this fight, so I said, okay. I was like, all right, I'll do it. You guys think that I can beat this guy. You see something that, like, you think matches up well, I'll do it, you right. know? Right, interesting. Yeah, because I find that like when that's a guy with little experience or no UFC experience, why they pinpoint something like that, or maybe like a veteran, they just felt it was a good fight for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess they just felt like you know, like we could exploit some things. There's some holes in his game that we see, and you know, we're gonna try to take advantage of it. Yeah, and through watching tape or prep, do you feel the same way they did? Like, were you like, I understand why you guys felt this way about this fight? Um, I think so. Yeah, I, 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 I think I see. I, I see some things. I, I'm, I have a. We have like a clear thing that we want me to do. So I'm gonna try to stick to that game plan. And I, I do think that it meshes well into like the way he fights. Fair enough. So without giving away the whole game plan, what do you think this fight looks like with you? You know, assuming I'm, you're winning it. I'm gonna try to grind out the win. I'm gonna try to grind it out. Does that mean a decision or just wear him down until you um, know, just hit him, keep moving, hit him, keep moving until he breaks? Yeah, perfect. And how weight wise is, is bad to wait the home for the foreseeable future? I think so, man. Like, 
the last time I tried to make 25, or I, I, the last time that I made 25, it was like a brutal cut. Like I did it as well as I could, like almost perfect, you know, like, um, like you could argue little things here and there and start measuring slightly smaller amounts, but like I, for the most part, I did it perfect. Um, and I like I got down to the last like pound and a half and we're in the sauna and I like stopped sweating and like like I only had like little beads of sweat coming out of my wrists and I just baked in that sauna for like an hour and a half for like 1.2 pounds. It was brutal and I was just like man like I don't know like I'm trying my best but I just I, I can't make 25 you know what I mean like I, I can't. Yeah, no, that's fair, and uh, I'm sure it makes you able to fight more consistently, not having to put yourself through that. Oh, and for sure. Like I, honestly, at this weight, like I train constantly. At this weight, I'm ready to go. Like almost like like I'm I can basically make weight in like three four days. Yeah, that's great. So, if assuming this fight goes your way, do you think you can squeeze another one in this year? I'd maybe? like. To. I'd like to. I'd like to. That would be ideal, but we'll see. Yeah, so maybe Max gets on that end of your card. You guys can. Oh, I would. I would too. try. Yeah, I'm not to ride Max's coattails. That guy's always the man, dude. Max is shit. <laughs> 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 All right, we can close on that. That's right. Cool. Thank Thanks you, Mike. Up. Appreciate it.